Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gonzo Airsoft. I'm Major Clanger. In today's game, a team of attackers, numbering two in total, take on a larger team. When the attacker hits one of the defenders, the defender then joins the attacking team until eventually everyone ends up on the same team. This was filmed again at Airsoft Edinburgh. The two attackers have both moved to the left hand side, putting some fire down over the gorse. To my left there is Sharky, now you might have seen him in some of the previous videos, he sometimes marshals at uh, Edinburgh Airsoft, he's one of the Land Warrior team. The shark is asking me whether my uh, camera is on. The reason he asked me is I'd spent the whole day on site here uh, and only realised before the last two games that uh, my camera had been on the wrong setting and instead of taking video I'd been taking time-lapse photography. It had been taking a photo every three seconds. So I had 18,000 photos, most of them of sky or ground but no video. Sharky gets sniped and is off to join the attackers. The laughter is because some of my own teammates decided it would be funny to lob a grenade over towards me and see what would happen. All taken in good humour. Now Shark is making his way back up the hill and catches me a cracker on the head. So I'm now joining the attacking team. Sharky there was using a Sistema PTW. A little expensive to my tastes and I'm pretty sure that uh, Mrs Major Clanger wouldn't approve of me taking home a grand gun. But for some reason, best known to himself, he's abandoned that and is now running up the left hand side with a pistol. Sharky spotted someone over just past the marshal, he's called it out to me. I put some rounds down. Shot. Uh, Sharky's marksmanship seems to be well in today. That was a cracking shot with a pistol, probably about 130 feet. And I'm in again for my troubles. Hi. 
There can only be one or two of the original defenders left. And in these games, it's often the case that they will hide at the back in the gorse bushes. That's someone lobbing a grenade in to try and flush them out. And I'm now getting out one of my favourite toys. It's a blank firing grenade. The idea is to try and lob it in one of the bushes, see if we can finish this off. Indeed, disappointing. We'll have to save the video of the blank firing grenade going off some other time. It's one of my favourite toys and I'm sure you'll enjoy it, so please do stay tuned for that. 